the storm clouds nearing the peninsula had only just darkened. The print on the crisp white posters had barely had time to dry. In the old pilgrim city of St. David's, this was a mission they thought which had only just begun. Save our school! 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 Can you imagine St. David's without a secondary school? It wouldn't really be a city anymore, would it? It would be a ghost town. It would become a retirement town. It's a retirement city. If they take the school away, the city will be finished. Go onto the path and meet the drivers and we'll get you to school on time, please. 8.30am, off go some of the children and as the crowd is urged on, in come the county councillors. One with a nod and a smile. and then the briefest of waves. Walking in to vote on a major proposal to redraw the educational map in Pembrokeshire, to tackle surplus places by building three new schools to replace five existing. One of them, Uskol Dawi Sant, St. David's only secondary. We pray that you will guide and direct the councillors as they deliberate today. It certainly helps when you've got the church on board and a star from the hit TV series, Game of Thrones. What would you like to say to the councillors in there now? I'd say just please, please think deeply and try and find a way beyond the statistics to keep this school because it's going to have a devastating effect on the community. The community of St David's only found out a week ago about the plan. Would families abandon a city without a secondary, they asked. And what about the cathedral choir? Reliant on the school for choristers and unsure last night about its future. I can't imagine seeing the choir carry on if the school shut because, as you can see, all of our members are either from Escaldery Sant or will be members. You don't think the choir could survive in the same mm. way? It'd be very difficult to survive. They thought it was all a done deal this morning, but then within minutes of this, their first protest ending from the council chamber the story suddenly changed. The proposed motion I wish to move is that... A U-turn from the council and a new proposal, this time for St David's to lose its sixth form but keep its school. So surprised were some of the councillors they asked for an immediate adjournment. While for the sixth formers looking on, it really was quite a moment. And not a bad lesson too in quick-fire democracy. Motion passed, next stage consultation, Q heartfelt tributes to the onlooking campaigners. Your passion came through very clearly indeed. I've got a very old computer, you've nearly blown it up. But that's <laughs> just all. It's a good day for democracy, in that, that politicians with small peas like, like we are, are listening to the people. Whose power, perhaps, they themselves underestimated. You didn't expect that, did you? No, we didn't, <laughs> as you can see by my face, but no, it's fantastic news. It's unbelievable. What do you think it says about the power of protest? Community spirit is strength and we've got it. <laughs> Small but mighty. <laughs> Absolutely. It's amazing. And the choir? The future for the choir is looking very good. <laughs> yeah. Lessons for other communities who are trying to hold on to their schools and hospitals, do you think? Just look at St David's. Look at the, as it's, just keep fighting. There are major school reforms still planned for this county. The winds of change will come. But for now, for St David's, the small city with a big voice, a ray of light.